hello guys hope every, everyone is doing good so in the last video we have installed the oracle 21c now we are going to see how to download the sql developer and log into the database using sys user as well as hr so go to your browser type download sql developer and click on first link from oracle.com and download the setup with jdk 11 included so it is approximately 465 MB. So you just download the setup. So based on your internet speed, it will get downloaded. So I have already downloaded the setup and extracted it. So I will quickly go to the setup and open it. So in the last video, uh, we have seen how to connect to database as sysdba so we have connected like sys sql plus as sysdba okay so this is how we are connecting to the cdb and uh, let's see how many cdbs do we have so, sorry how many pdbs do we have here so what we are going to do here uh, firstly we are going to connect to the sys schema using sql developer and then we are going to connect to uh, xcpdb1 using sys user and then we are going to create hr schema and then connect to hr schema using sql developer as well okay so let's uh, go to sql developer create a new connection so this is going to be 21c sys user Pass, username is password username is sys uh, roles going to be sysdba put your password that we have set at the time of installation uh, everything is going to be same the rest will be same just click on test connection and test is successful in case uh, your sql plus is not working so for example see if you are not able to connect uh, as sysdba then go to the services.msc check whether all services are working or not so we have seen this in the last uh, video but just to go uh, give you the overview uh, make sure that the service xc and listener service they should be up and running okay so test connection is successful we are going to hit save okay so can and connect so we are connected to the container db uh, with sys user at sys dba okay now if i want to connect to pdb then how we are going to uh, connect so sql plus as uh, sys dba as we have seen our pdb name is xcpdb1 so from prompt what we can do is we can directly connect uh, using alter session set container is equal to container name so now i am connected to xcpdb1 okay there is one more uh, thing that we can do is we can connect like this as well so sys at the red xcpdb1 as sysdba so i have already configured the tns entry so let me quickly show you guys what i'm talking about here so, so if i use tns ping xcpdb1 then i'm able to see that this is working and this is the entry by using which i'm connecting to the database so let me quickly uh, delete this and recreate it so there is a utility called netka so just we are going to invoke it so go to the network uh, go to the third option local net service name and configuration next so what i'm doing is i'm deleting the existing entry so i have created one entry 
as xcpdb1 you might not be able to see it so let me quickly go and delete it yes let me quickly hit finish now if i try to dns ping the entry xcpdb1 that we have created uh, this command will give error and we won't be able to connect to pdb using this entry see this is failed and if we try to connect to database it will throw error so mostly this is the reason and this is where most of student um, got stuck and they are not able to proceed and they don't know how to resolve this error so we need to invoke the netka utility so let's invoke the netka utility once more one more time and go to the local net service names names configuration uh, add entry so we are going to put service name as xcpdb1 port is port protocol is going to be tcp my host name is localhost in case if you are using vm then you need to put ip address over here port is going to be same i don't need to test service name is going to be xcpdb1 only that's it so click on next hit next finish so this was this was the error that uh, we are getting earlier so let's check whether tns ping is working so tns ping should work and then let's try to connect to xcpdb1 so now this is working now we are going to create new connection to connect to pdb so this is my 21c pdb my i'm connecting we are connecting using sys user as sysdba i'm going to save the password as well so here there is a one slight change instead of sid we are going to put the xcpdb1 tns entry that we have created just now so just change sid to service name and make the change so this name you can do anything uh, you can put it anything but uh, uh, generally we keep it uh, it same as the pdb name so let's test the connection it is successful we can save it and connect so now we are connected to the pdb using sysdba so once we are done let me disconnect the connection so this is how we connect to database using sys user now what we are going to look into is how to install or download how to work on hr schema so first let's connect with connect as is dba I'll let me let's connect to sys as xcpdb1 con pluggable database and check whether the schema exists or not So as we can see hr schema does not exist so there are different uh, steps here for 21c as uh, uh, by default oracle does not uh, install sample schemas so what we are going to go look into uh, how we are going to install the schema so just you can go to the google type how to install hr schema in 21c uh, just click on first link and you can scroll down a little and you would be able to see the github uh, location and what you are going to do you are going to go to that particular github location and download the source code file so i have already downloaded the source code file and i have extracted it over here so it will create a folder something like this and you would be able to see these are the sample schemas uh, you can uh, go to the readme file if you want to explore this but for now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, go to the human resource directory so this is where 
the HR schema and the files related to HR uh, exist. So you can read this file uh, if you want to uninstall or install uh, the HR schema. So basically what we are going to do is just uh, copy the location, copy this complete location. Uh, uh, you can open the command prompt, go to that particular location and then we are going to connect to database to the pdb because uh, there we are going to con create hr schema so sql plus sys at direct xc pdb1 at sysdba okay now here we are going to execute hr underscore install dot sql okay so let's install it so it is going to ask for the password so just put password uh, enter table space just press enter uh, do you want to overwrite schema yes so you can put it as a yes and everything is done and as we can see uh, that this tables has been uh, created so what we can do is we can try to connect hr schema now using prompt so instead of sys we are going to connect to hr schema with the password that we have just specified and voila we are into we are connected to the hr so how we are going to see the table so either we can mm, type uh, select star form tab or better let's, let's select t name only so select t name So show user okay I think I have connected uh... no idea why I'm able to see everything let's select table okay so this is the query and these are the tables uh, that we are able to see here okay now let's try to connect to HR schema using a skill developer so we are going to connect 21 C HR schema so, okay I think I have specified as sys DBA uh, over there that is the reason why uh, we are able to see this object as well uh, my bad guys uh, so just uh, go to the services dot name then x services service name x as xcpdb1 and let's test the connection it is successful save the password i'm going to save the connection as well for the future use and we are connected and now here what we can do is we can expand this connection so that we would be able to see different objects over here and we can extra, uh, expand the tables as well so as we can see these are the tables here so uh, let me quickly go and uh, connect to hr from command prompt as well here xcpdb1 okay so we don't need to give uh, as sysdba if we pro like try we are trying to connect to database as sysdba then uh, it will connect uh, to my uh, super user only so right now as we can I am able to see I am connected connected to user HR so let's try to query again 
So let's okay. So select a name from tab will also give you the list of uh, all objects over here in the schema. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day. Bye.